theorem. If a plus square root of b is a root of polynomial function p of x, then its conjugate a plus square root of b is also a root of a polynomial function p of x. So let us prove simply. Proof. So let us take uh, a and b are an element of uh, a rational number q. And the polynomial function p of x, if is equal with a zero, as a solution is going to have, let's say x, one of the solution is a, a plus square root of b. And the other solution is going to be the other solution, x is equal to the a, is conjugate minus the square root of b. But uh, with the assumption, the polynomial function p of x has a coefficient, a rational, uh, has a rational coefficient. So now, because of this is a solution of this polynomial function p of x, we want to find the factors of this polynomial function. To find the factors, first of all, uh, let me go, let me, sub, uh, let me make one side equal to zero. So minus a minus square root of b, and minus a minus square root of b. And I'm doing the same thing in the other solution. Minus a plus square root of b, minus a plus square root of b. And as we know here, so this is the same quantity with opposite sign, we can cancel. And what do we have now? We have a x minus a, a minus square root of b, so this is one factor of this polynomial function, is equal to zero, and the other factor, is going to be x minus a plus the square root of b is equal to zero. And since those two are factors of the polynomial function with rational coefficient, we want to prove this is a polynomial function with rational coefficient. So we can write the p of x is equal with the x minus a minus square root of b times x minus a plus the square root of b. And now we are going to distribute here now. But let me go with different color because it's much easier to take the chart. X times x is a x squared. X times minus a is a minus ax. X times plus square root of b is a plus x times square root of b. So now I'm going with a different color. With the second term, minus a times x is a minus ax. Minus a times minus a is a plus a squared. Minus a times plus square root of b is a minus a square root of b. So I'm going now with the third coefficient to multiply the second term. Negative square root of b times x is a minus a x square root of b. And negative time negative is a positive a square root of b. And negative time positive is a negative uh, square root of b times square root of b is a square root of b square. So let me write this here, square. And now let me take a care let me take care of uh, this first, because the index with the, with the power is going to simplify, because it's the same. And now let me add uh, the same terms. So the polynomial function, p of x, is equal. So I have just one x squared, so let me write here x squared. And now I have minus ax minus ax is a minus a 2ax. What do we have else? I have here plus x square root of b minus x square root of b, so this is the same quantity with the opposite sign, we can cancel. The other what we have, the same quantity, minus a square root of b plus a square root of b, so this we can cancel. And what remains? Remains plus a square. And the remains here, uh, because uh, here is a minus, because uh, we already simplified the power with the index, it remains uh, just b. And as we see here, n and b are uh, rational numbers, as we assumed here, according to our assumptions or our claim. And then this polynomial function is a polynomial with the rational coefficient, respectively rational uh, uh, constants here.